to be at the ocean, swimming, skiing in the mountains, visiting national parks, hiking, traveling, and making connections to the natural world. So just shut your eyes and think about where you make connections with nature. Your vacations into nature were probably calling out to you just like in the story when Jumping Mouse hears a roar and begins to make connections with his animal friends. Something bigger is waiting for him out there. And he hears, the, he hears the roar of the river and experiences the vastness of the prairie. And Little Mouse sees the sacred mountain. He's afraid, but he pushes on because he knows there is knowledge waiting for him in the natural world. The frog in the river asks him if he wants medicine power. Medicine power is special spiritual awareness to Native Americans. Frog tells Mouse to jump high to look at the sacred mountains, and Little Mouse becomes Jumping Mouse. Jumping Mouse builds trust on his journey, giving up his eyes to a buffalo and a wolf, and experiences life as something interconnected, even though there are those along his journey who would have him stay small. Because of this newly found trust in the natural world, his journey to discover something new and his reliance on special guides along the way. Jumping Mouse transforms into an eagle when he finds the sacred lake. His spiritual power is complete. The story of Jumping Mouse can help us grow our wings if we pay attention to the roar of the river, if we venture out of our small worlds, if we, if we stop and pay attention to those who make us feel small if we stop paying attention to those who make us feel small and find the courage to take a leap. Then that will appear. But your vision can soar beyond the clouds. If a true heart does reside, reside, then you too can fly, can fly. Then you, this little mouse lived as all the other mice, busy examining and investigating the world, always aware of the eagles. Because for a mouse, an eagle, well, mouse was just food for the eagle that wanted it. And so the mice stayed far away from the eagles, busy examining and investigating the earth. Hello, Brother Mouse! Little Mouse was like the rest, except for one difference. Hello, Brother Mouse! Brother Mouse! What are you doing? I'm very busy investigating this hole in the ground. The hole in the ground is long and deep. I have this roaring in my ears. Do you hear a roaring? I don't hear anything in my ears. I have your ears examined. I'm very busy investigating this hole. Okay. Excuse me, Sister Mouse. Sister Mouse, do you hear a roaring in your... No, no, no. I'm very busy investigating this twig. Look at this twig. It's long. It's fascinating. Look. I know, but nobody heard the roaring. So one day he went to the very edge of where the mice people lived, and he made himself quiet. Hey, little brother, ah! He leapt up, he arched his back, he was ready to run. Hey, little brother, slip down, slip down, what you doing here? Oh, 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 hey, I'm Brother Raccoon now, what is cooking? I'm, 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 I'm examining a roaring in my ears. You're examining a what? A roaring in my ears? Hey, little bro, that's River. You want to see it? Yeah. Follow me. And little mouse followed Brother Raccoon away from where the mice people lived. And as he followed him, he, he smelt the scent of many things he knew, but many things he'd never known. And he was scared, and he wanted to run back. But then they walked through a great bush, and he saw it. It was deep and murky in some places, and clear and shallow in others. And it roared and sang and thundered and wept as it went upon its course. Wow! Hey, little bro, that is river. Wow. And then he saw a creature as green as the pad it sat upon right in its midst. Hello, little brother. Wow. Who are you? My name is Frog. I am the keeper of the waters. 
As long as Winter Man is here, you cannot see me. But when Thunderbird flies, I am about... Whoop. Hey, little bro, look. I'm going to leave you here with Brother Frog. He can tell you more about River than me. Later. And Little Mouse watched as Raccoon went foraging for food down the river. Little Brother. Yes. Would you like medicine power? Would I? You bet. Then curl down as low as you can get and leap as high as you are able. Okay. And Little Mouse did. Curling down and then. And at the peak of the leap he saw it. The sacred mountain. He heard word of the sacred mountain on the winds of song, but he didn't know it really existed. And then. And he missed the bank and fell in the water. Now do mice know how to swim? And so with every bit of energy he had, he clawed his way back up on the bank, but he was wet and he was terrified. You just moved to me, I was dead, I don't know. What did you see? I almost died of you, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What did you see? What, what did you see? Oh, oh, I saw the sacred mountain. I have to go back and tell all my brother and sister mice about it. Very well, little brother. Just keep the sound of the medicine river to the back of your head and you will find them. Yeah. One other thing. You have a new name now. <laughs> your name is Jumping Mouse. Yeah! Hey, Jumping Mouse soared back to his people. But when he got there, he was wet. Now remember the mice didn't know anything about river. And for a mouse, there were only two ways you could get wet. If it had rained, which it hadn't. Or if another animal wanted you for food, <coughs> and if they spat you out, you must be poisoned. And so his brothers and sisters were afraid of him. Hey, excuse me, Brother Mouse! Brother Mouse, we know about the worm music of this hole in the ground. Go away! <laughs> Sister Mouse! Sister Mouse, you want to hear all about the roaring? No, no, this is the sweetest leg, and it's fascinating! And Jumping Mouse lived among his people. But he wasn't happy. Because all the while the image of the sacred mountain burned in his mind. Now he knew he could never get there. The eagles would eat him. But he thought maybe he could just see it one more time. And so he stepped to the edge of where the mice people lived and he leapt again. But he could see nothing. I have to try. And he leapt out onto the plain. And he ran as fast as his four little mouse-like claws could take him. And he could feel the shadow of the eagles coming down. And he ran and he ran until he came to a stand of sage and he jumped into it. <gasps> And there was an old mouse there. Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting for a mouse smart enough to find his way here. This is a great spot. From here, there's lots to eat. And you can see the eagles so they don't get you. I've been waiting for a mouse smart enough to keep me company. Well, I'll stay for dinner. Or you'll stay. I, I can't stay. See, I'm going to the sacred mountain. Oh, don't be silly. There's not such a thing. No. I saw it. I saw it. Once. There's no such thing. No, no, I know. Look, come with me. And the old mouse led him to the edge of the stand of sage. Look up there. You see those dots in the sky? Every single one of them is an eagle. You run out of here, they're going to come down and eat you up. Thank you for your kindness, old mouse. But I have to try. And he ran back out onto the prairie. And now it felt like the eagles were closer than ever. And he ran and he ran until he felt a shadow on his back. And he ran into a stand of choked cherries. And he was not there but a few seconds when he heard this. <gasps> 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 
And we followed the sound to its source. There was a huge mound of brown-gray hair. And at one end, a head with two horns. And the horns were so big, jumping mouse could live in one of them. Can you guess what creature it was? Yeah. A rhino. It would be a rhino if jumping mouse lived maybe in Central Africa. But he lived in this country. So what big hairy creature lives on the plain in this country? Yes, bingo! <laughs> but we'll retell the story so it's in Africa sometime, okay? And it can be a rhino. <laughs> Jumping mouse, he walked right up to that creature. Brother Buffalo! What's wrong? I am sick. And I am dying. And my medicine tells me that the only thing that can heal me is the eye of a creature called mouse. But I know there is no such thing. One of my eyes could heal Brother Buffalo. With only one eye, it would be very hard to get to the sacred mountain. But when my little eyes could heal him, he is so much greater of a creature than I could ever be. Brother Buffalo, I am that creature called Mouse and you may have my eyes. And the buffalo rose up, whole and powerful on its four legs. Its breath came in with great strength. Little brother, you have given me life so that I may give way to the humans. I know of your quest for the sacred mountain and of your visit to the river. Come, little brother, climb between my four powerful hooves and I will take you to the foot of that mountain. For I am buffalo! And he kicked up the dust like the tail of a wild animal and he began to beat against that prairie and little mouse with only one eye was sure he was going to get crushed under one of those hooves and they ran hour after hour dust filled his lungs until finally ah, ah, little brother are you well well I kind of thought you might step on me I know where every living breath falls on this earth I know it from the sun dance little brother I must leave you here at the foot of the mountain for I am a creature of the prairie, and if I do try to take you up there, I would step upon you. But I wish you luck. And remember, you always have the thanks of Buffalo! And he tore back across that prairie, kicking up the dust like the tail of a wild animal. And Jumping Mouse was at the bottom of the sacred mountain. I've come so far. Boy, do I have far to go. Okay, little claw-like feet, start walking. And he would jump from one stand of sage or choke cherries to another, but the eagles, they must have nested in the same mountain. Because no sooner would he come out to run than he'd feel an eagle, and he'd have to run into another hiding place. And after many days, he only got in a short way up the mountain, until one day he jumped into a stand of choke cherries. Boop! And there was the greatest smartest of all of Mother Earth's creatures. Uh-oh. Grey Wolf has lost her memory. She's kind of goofy and dumb now. I think I know how she could get her memory back. Can you guess? If I give her my other one, I'll never get to the top. I probably never would have gotten to the top anyway. But still, it'll be... Look at her. She's so much greater of a creature than I could ever be. Grey Wolf, I am a creature called Mouse. And you may have my eye. And Grey Wolf regained all she had had. The jumping mouse was blind. Little brother, 
Little brother, I am the guide of the sacred mountain. You have given me back my wits. Would you like me to take you to the top? Would I? Here, little brother, I'll put you on my tail. Hold on tightly because when Grey Wolf runs, she flies. And he could feel the wind as she soared up that mountain higher and higher until finally, little brother, we are here. I'm going to set you right by the medicine lake. I'm going to describe the beauty of this place to you. And as she spoke, he drank three drops from the medicine lake. And it fell down his throat like pure knowledge. But that is all. Would you like me to stay? No. Well, I know others will want to come here. It sounds so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, no, little brother. Thank you. From Grey Wolf. And he could hear the wind whooshing as she flew back down the mountain. But in that sound, he knew that his last moments had come. He could feel the shadows of the eagles coming closer. And so he dug his four little claws into the earth and he readied himself for death. Until the shadow of an eagle overcame his head and then his body and then his tail and then he heard the sound that an eagle makes before it strikes. And he didn't understand what had happened when the next morning he woke up and he could see. But not very well. Things were really fuzzy. And he saw a creature coming towards him. Hello. Hello, little brother. Hi. Would you like some medicine power? If, if I might. Curl down as low as you can and leap as high as you are able. All right. And Jumping Mouse curled down as low as he could and he leapt. And at the peak of his leap, he kept going. Higher and higher. Catch the wind, wind little brother. Catch the wind and trust. Higher and higher until soon he could see him. Hello, Brother Ford. Hello. Hello, little brother. And then he saw Brother Raccoon foraging for food. And Brother Buffalo running on the prairie. And Sister Grey Wolf bringing others up the mountain. Little brother, do you know what? No, no. You have a new name now. Your name is... e -Bob. Some hear a roaring in their ears. Others see a soaring in the sky. Some walk down a path that's not clear. But most of us never will fly. Now without your eyes, you might be blind. Never see the mountains, plains, or the sky. But your vision can soar beyond the clouds if a true heart does reside, reside. Then you too can fly, can fly. Then each and every one of us can fly.